and in this video I'll show you how you can recover your SSH private key pair. In order to SSH to your AWS instance you need the private key pair and AWS allows you to download the private key pair only once while you are creating an instance. Um, in order to recover uh, the private key pair we need to create a new instance in the same zone as the original instance. Uh, to do that I'm going to select web server 01 <coughs> Web server 01 is the instance I'm trying to recover my SSH private key pair. <coughs> I'm just going to go ahead and click on actions. Launch more like this. Uh, click on attack. I'm just going to go ahead and call this guy SSH underscore key underscore recovery. Uh, under uh, configure security group, we need to create our UC existing security group name in order to allow SSH to the instance. I'm going to go ahead and create a new security group and by default AWS allows you to SSH to your Linux servers click on review and launch click on launch over here I'm going to create a new key pair I'm going to call this guy new underscore key underscore pair download key pair save it to my desktop click on launch instance Click on services, EC2. Click on instances. And here I'm going to search as a certain school key. Right. Oh, this guy is coming up. So, in order to recover the key, you must shut down and detach the root volume on uh, web server 01. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, detach the root volume. So I'm going to go ahead and click on dev slash xpda uh, EBS ID. Uh, that's my volume group attached to my web server one instance. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this guy. Click on actions. Detach volume yes to detach Oh, in order to detach the volume, we, you should shut down the server. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, select web server 01. Click on actions. Click on stop. Yes, to stop. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and click on dev slash xvda, uh, select the volume, click on action, detach volume, yes to detach. Alright, the state is available now. I'm just going to go ahead and click on actions again. Uh, now I'm going to attach the same volume on my recovery instance as a secondary volume. So I'm going to go ahead and click on actions, attach volume, um, select SSH underscore key recovery. And I'm going to leave the device name as it is, click on attach.
Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, SSH into my uh, key recovery instance. And in order to SSH to my recovery key instance, I'm going to select uh, SSH key and screen recovery. Click on connect. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste it into my terminal. Yes. Oh, I have to set the permissions. So, uh, chmod 400 underscore key pair. Paste that command again. There we go. sudo space minus i to become the root. Alright, uh, now I'm going to uh, mount the volume and to list the volumes, I'm going to type lsblk. Alright, uh, xvdf is the one we are looking for. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a mount point. Here, mn slash mnt um, slash g dash recovery. Uh, now I'm going to replace the key file uh, from the key recovery. Oh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and mount um, uh, slash dev slash x uh, vdf1 to mount uh, slash mnt key dash recovery. So I'm going to type mount dev slash xvdf1 to mnt p dash recovery and let's be okay. Okay, so this guy is mounted now. Now I'm going to replace the key file from our key recovery instance to the uh, web server one server. Uh, and in order to do that, there are two ways to do it, but uh, I'm going to use the copy one. So I'm going to type cp home slash ec2-user dot ssh authorized keys to slash mnt key dash recovery home ec2-user dot ssh and yes to override. Okay, now I'm going to unmount uh, gmount slash mnt key dash recovery. Enter, I'm going to go ahead and shut down the box. And it's zero. Waiting for this guy to stop. Okay, our recovery box is stop. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, detach uh, the secondary volume from this guy. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and click on slash dev slash sdf. Um, select the EBSID volume. Click on action detach volume. Yes to detach and I'm going to reattach this volume to my web server 01 refresh the state is available now I'm going to go ahead and click on action attach volume back to my web server 01 and I'm just gonna go ahead and call this guy xvda click on attach and then click on instances I'm gonna go ahead and turn this uh, start the web server 01 click on start yes okay um, Web server 01 is up and running now. 
Uh, let's try to SSH into Web Server 01. Um, click on connect. Go ahead, copy. I'm just gonna go ahead and paste this command over here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the um, new key pair, which was new underscore key underscore pair. Yes. And boom. I'm logged in. So use space minus I. Who am I? Thank you very much.